guys, today we're talking. Okay, guys, today we're talking about the Mill Sparks Summer Special 2. And we're going to be talking about this holster, what I think about it. And honestly, I'm doing this video mostly just to get the name of this really cool holster maker out there so that you guys have another option if you're thinking about going with high quality leather holsters. So let's jump into it. Now, I'm not getting paid for this, but I just think that this holster is awesome. And I think that this company is kind of flying under the radar, if you will. They do great work and I just wanted to kind of uh, do this video to share their great work. So let's talk about the Mill Sparks Summer Special 2. And this is my go-to holster for my Glock 19X. Now I will say, this holster company does take a while to make holsters. It does take a while to make holsters. So for a while I was running a Kydex DeSantis holster. Uh, and that was primarily just because that's what I had around and available to CCW my 19. But uh, I did in time after six months get this holster and it is pretty spectacular. So this one, of course, like I said, is the Summer Special 2 and this one is the horse hide here and with an upper and belt loops and such of shark leather. So it's a little bit different, a little bit special and I kind of like that because not only is shark hide a really tough wearing leather, same with horse, but it's also a different look and it kind of makes your gun stand out just that little bit more now granted it's probably just going to be a personal thing because not many people are hopefully ever going to have the opportunity to see your handgun you know um, as a ccw person we try not to share our guns but or you know show our guns uh, in life but it is pretty nice and i think it makes an honestly pretty good um carry holster now of course like i mentioned uh I do like leather holsters over Kydex, and Kydex has definitely got a lot of hype in the past handful of years because of its versatility, because of you know how you can form it and what you can do with it. And Kydex is certainly a very cool option. <clears throat> is certainly a very nice holster material, but I have personally found, especially when concealed carrying and when that holster is riding right up against your body, like I'm showing in this video, you know, in my training footage, um, or in my footage where I'm shooting, uh, the leather holster makes all the difference. Uh, Kydex holsters, of course, being a plastic, are not this flexible, they're not as malleable, they're not as soft or supple on the body. So when this portion of the holster is actually, you know, pressed up against your body for 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, um, you know, having Kydex really starts to actually generally hurt and uh, it can and it can definitely lead, and it has led me in the past, to not wanting to carry a gun because my holster was uncomfortable, or because it was stabbing into me, or things like that. So that's why I went over to leather, but I think Milt Sparks, kind of going back to it, just does a really fantastic job. You know, honestly, the cool thing about holsters, unlike knives or guns, you know, the quality is there. You can really see it. Um, you know, this isn't something that's, you know, purely, you know, its quality won't be able to be hidden. You know, you can see the stitch lines, you can see how well it's formed to the gun. I'm shaking this thing pretty vigorously here, hopefully you can see, and you know, the gun's not coming out. So, um, you know, obviously if you shake it very hard or if you try to get the gun out, it will fall out just like a Kydex holster because obviously this is just a friction fit gun or holster here. So, you know, this is not going to be, you know, 100%, but you can see even under pretty good shaking pressure, it is not coming out. So you have good retention, certainly more than adequate for, you know, carrying your gun. Obviously, you're probably not going to be, you know, running an Olympic trial with your gun on. So it should be just fine, even if you are more athletic. I've gone on runs with this gun and holster combination, and it works just fine for me and is plenty comfortable. So most importantly, like I said, this video isn't so much trying to say that you should go buy a leather holster, though I personally think you're better off with a leather holster for EDC. Even if you are running a modern or plastic gun like this, you know, it doesn't really matter what type of gun you're running. It's really just about finding a comfortable holster that allows you to conceal your gun. And for me, uh, you know, holsters may sound like 
you know, when you oftentimes think about CCW, you think about, man, I have to get a concealable gun, I have to get a gun that I can hide easily, and I have to get a gun that I can wear frequently, but I try to tell people don't discount, um, a holster's role in CCW because honestly the gun yes does play some role you know you can't conceal carry a desert eagle as well as you can a Walther PPK but having a good holster does go a long way with one being able to conceal that gun or hide it on your body and two your willingness to conceal that gun or run that gun because of comfort because your gun is going to be on your body but the holster is what's actually touching your body this is what's actually making the contact you know these belt loops are what's keeping that gun attached to you so this is all the contact point so you want to make sure that it's as soft as comfortable and as conforming to your body as you can make it so that's why I'm a very big advocate of not picking not just picking the right gun for CCW but picking the right but picking the right holster for CCW because that's almost if not more important than picking the right gun as you guys can see you know my daily CCW is a 19x and this is not a small gun by any means but I carry it very frequently every day and I carry it you know without with a great deal of comfort and ease because I have a good holster. So um, that's what I have to say. It's kind of my long story short. And I definitely recommend Milt Sparks. They are a very small company out of Idaho and they do have significant lead times, you know, six months, if not more, on their uh, holsters. And also they are not cheap. You know, this holster is around $200. But once again, if you're using that holster every day, and you're conceal carrying for self-protection it's often hard to put a price tag on you know creating a situation where you're willing and you want to carry your gun every day so at the end of the day it's not just about looking cool and you know having the shark leather but it's about finding a practical realistic choice that's comfortable attainable and will make you want to have your gun on you in case you need it so that's kind of my spiel about the milt spark summer special 2 my holster and conceal carrying leather holsters over kydex now if you have a kydex holster you like to run that's awesome there's nothing wrong with kydex holsters i think they're just fine but leather is undoubtedly more comfortable so as always guys god bless and i'm out